Skip to Lofa. Honestly, this is a really wholesome series that I definitely recommend you guys reading. If you guys have not read this series, I hope that this video makes you want to read this series. Because, yeah, like, this series is honestly a really wholesome series that you guys should definitely read. Especially if you guys are looking for that, you know, wholesome romance with some rivalry between them, some drama. But that's not really the head and the, the whole focus of the story. Where, like, it's just wholesome. Like, you get to see the, the, the characters that are just, you know, enjoying high school, having fun. This is honestly the story for you. This is honestly a really, really good romance story, which I definitely recommend to a lot of people who are, you know, starting to read romance manga, right? I definitely recommend this to be one of the first few manga that you guys start to, you know, read. Um, so what is Skipped Lofa, you know, about? Well, this story is about a, the main female character where she is a country bumpkin that she went to, you know, the, the, the city of Tokyo, I think it's around there, the city of Tokyo to pretty much go to high school. And, 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 and her as a character, I really, really like her. She is definitely a, you know, a bubbly and, you know, good character because she is smart. She is very smart and it gets shown in the first chapter with, with her being really smart, her, her, her doing a bunch of really amazing stuff. However, she doesn't really go out of her way to, you know, get attention. She doesn't go out of her way to go and, 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 you know, get a lot of friends, right? She doesn't really go out of her way. But of course, you have the main, the main male character, who he is the complete opposite of the main female character, to where he is popular. Everyone around him likes him. Therefore, he is nice to everyone. For some reason, he's very nice to the main female character, because she intrigues him. And that is also something that I really, really like, because it shows that, yes, he is nice to other characters. He is nice to other girls, but when it comes to me from a character, he's oddly more nice to her. He's, he, he, he tries to approach her more and more and more. And throughout the story, you get to see him having feelings for her, you get to see her having feelings for him, and you get to see the romance developing. But there's not really a huge, huge focus within the story. Like, yes, it is a focus... For those two characters, they they like each other, but the thing is, there are the characters around that are kind of preventing them from being together. But I'm sure that they will get together in the future. It's just it's just a matter of time, and I also don't think it will be that long until that happens. Especially with you know the latest stuff in the manga, and you know them them realizing their feelings for each other. But this series. Like, even though it has romance, like I said, it's not really its, it's focus. Yes, it does kind of focus on the main character, main, main male character, their, their struggles and their interactions with other people, which is something I really like. Uh, but like I said, it's not really a huge, huge focus within the story, right? The main focus is heavily on the main female character, her interacting with people, her meeting friends, her being someone within the school, right? She is a bit shy at times. She doesn't really try to interact with other people, and that's something that she is growing to, you know, to do, right? Because she was from another country, from, from from somewhere else. Her coming into this new town, her coming into this this new school, is a bit different for her. She's not used to it, but because she, she's not used to, you know, being in this brand new school. It's a bit tough for her to make friends, but the friends that she makes along the way, they're all really, really nice. Of course, you have the typical rival, um, for like the main, the main female character, who, who, who the rivals are trying to get with the main male character. You got the typical um, uh, uh, rival, you got the, the typical beautiful girl that everyone misunderstands, has potential love interest for the main character, but in reality, she, she is just a, you know, a nice friend. Um, like, there's so much, you know, amazing characters, which probably inspired a lot of other characters in other romance stories. I would not be surprised, even though the series only has 23 chapters. I would not be surprised, as, as the art style definitely looks like an art style that has been, you know, done years ago. But that's something I, I don't mind, as this is on, as if this series is a series that was made a long time ago, my god, I hope that I can find the Japanese version and see if I can try it. And, and I hope that I can learn Japanese to carry on reading it. But if I don't find the, you know, the Japanese version, 
I am willing to wait. I'm willing to wait until we get the next chapter of Skip to Lofa. But, uh, yeah, like, this is honestly a really, really ho wholesome series. Definitely a series that I recommend, especially if you're starting to read manga for the first time. You definitely need a, uh, a story that's, like, wholesome and just nice, a braver, like, something for you to begin to read before you start reading, like, the big shonen, the big, like, romance action type of stuff, like, the, he the heavy romance themes. This is honestly a good story if you get started in the romance manga journey like this is honestly a manga that i wish i read when i first start, started getting into you know reading manga daily reading manga online i hope that this was i hope like i wish i could have read this series when i first started reading manga but i didn't really get to do that and i only managed to find out this manga last year and, and, and coincidentally then a new chapter came out recently, so I went to go and read it, and hence the reason for this video. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did you know, enjoy, enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, and of course, kind of subscribe to my channel. If you guys want me to talk about your favorite manga, please tell me in the comments below because I would love to know, right? And if I have read that manga, then I'm 100% going to talk about it, right? But I would but really love, love it if you guys would just give me some recommendations. Of manga for me to talk about in the future, and of course I will talk about it if I have the time. But uh, yeah, hope you guys did you know enjoy this video? Go on and skip to Lofa because because definitely worth your time. And I will see you all next time.